Hey, hi, what's up? My name's Adam McMaster, and I got iOS 14, and I got really cool home screens, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. With iOS 14, you can edit your home screen in a bunch of different ways. It's really, really customizable, which is awesome. I love using the widgets on all of my different screens to make different things functionable, so. The exciting thing about this is that you get to pick your own aesthetics. I was making my screens, I couldn't settle on one style, so I just decided to go by screen and do different styles for every screen. Here are some of my screens, and they do change throughout the day, so the widgets that are photos and the widgets that are texts, um, I have them like rotating as the hours go by throughout the day. So, you know, at nighttime, like my one screen kind of says, hey, you know, like you're your best when you sleep, kind of like, inching me to go to bed. And then like in the morning when I wake up, my screen tells me that I'm changing the world. Just little positive affirmations throughout the day really help me stay positive. But I also do love my grunge aesthetic and dark themes. So I do have those as well. You can do any aesthetic you want, anything you can possibly think of. I'm going to actually use my girlfriend's phone and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. And together we're going to create my girlfriend's home screens. So exciting. So before I go get started, you need to download iOS 14 onto your Phone. And we're going to be working with the apps Widget Smith and Shortcuts. Now, Shortcuts should already be on your iPhone, but you will have to download Widget Smith from the App Store. I'm gonna go get an oil change, and then we'll go home and I will start working on my girlfriend's screens. It's so cool to see what everyone's making. I'm feeling super Tumblr. It's just reminding me of like We Heart It and like all of that. I don't know who else was maybe born in the late 90s, but if you were, you might remember a website called pixo.com. I had pixo, I had many pixos. We know you're really surprised with someone of this creativity. So, super stoked, go download iOS 14 and download Widgetsmith and then meet me back here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my girlfriend's screen just so that you guys can see as I'm doing it. So this is what your home screen will look like originally when you first download the iOS 14. You're gonna have your normal home screens that you had before with the app library as well. Now your app library in iOS 14 is really just like a storage unit for your apps. It has smart sorting, which is really helpful. I know that I had all of my apps stored into their own file folders, so this is really great. The first thing that we're gonna do is move all of her apps that she's not going to be using into her app library. So the only apps that I'm going to keep on the home screen are ones that she actually uses all the time. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to also move all of the apps that are in her folders into the app library as well. So to get started doing this, all you do is press and hold on the app icon as you would if you were deleting the app. Just click edit home screen. You'll get this, edit home screens, hide unorganized home screen apps by tapping the page dots. Okay, so now I can click on the minus signs and I can hit move to app library. So I'm gonna do that with all of the apps that I don't think she'll be using as much. When you run into something that doesn't allow you to move it to the app library and it just says uh, remove from home screen, you can just remove it from home screen. It's still gonna show up in your app library. You're not actually deleting the app unless you click delete app. Like this, remove health, removing from home screen will keep the app in your app library. Remove from home screen. As you can see, I did a few things. One of the things being that I moved all of the apps that I don't think she's going to be using as much into her app library, which when we swipe right, you can see over here, they are all still here and that's great. These apps on the home screen are the ones that I think she's gonna be using all the time. So I left them here for now. I've also gone and changed the background to something that I think is going to fit the aesthetic that she's looking for. I wanted to keep the background simple to give me lots of flexibility between pages. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into Google and in Google, you're literally just going to look for photos that match the aesthetic that you're going for. If you wanna be real simple like me, you'll literally just type in green aesthetic, maybe add Tumblr to the end, that always gives good results. As you can see here, lots of green aesthetic. This is not what she was going for, so I'm not gonna save any of these, but you're going to go through and save a lot of photos. And as you're saving photos, try to keep some together that are like the same, because we're gonna be using similar photos to create the aesthetic overall. So based on however many pages you're going to have as your home screen, 10 to 20 photos for each page. So these are the photos that I had saved for her. So you can see a few different kind of colors and they're gonna look really nice when we put them all together. So these are all things that she likes mixed in with, you know, motivational quotes, positivity, anything that's gonna make her smile. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to open the Widgetsmith app. 
When you first open the app, you're just going to have um, one small widget, one medium widget, maybe two, and a large widget, I think. As you can see, I already went and did some of hers just to show you. But what you can do now is create a small widget or a medium widget or a large widget. Probably a small one to start, just so you can get a feel for what it is. And just to show you what it looks like when it comes up, you're going to click on small number one. I'm gonna click small number three just to show you because I already did one and two, but it's going to say default widget, add a timed widget. So you're going to hit default widget, and then you're going to scroll and choose what you want. You can have a photo, you can do custom text, you can have your battery icon, upcoming events, literally anything. But I'm gonna click photo because we are putting in the photo. Then you're gonna click selected photo at the bottom and you're going to choose the default photo. Not a really big deal which one you choose because I'm going to show you how to have the photos rotate throughout the day so that different times that you open your phone, you see different images. So I'm going to click this photo and then I'm going to go back. And I'm going to click add a timed widget. That's going to give me the ability to have the photos rotate throughout the day. So as you can see, it's already given us one in the bottom right corner here. It says Tuesday 22. I don't want it to be a calendar from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So I'm going to tap the icon and I'm going to pick photo, selected photo, and I'm going to choose what I want to be there. And let's have that from eight to noon. Now all you're going to do is choose different photos. Keep pressing that plus icon and you can add as many or as few photos as you'd like. Wherever you don't add photos, it's just going to show the default photo that you chose. I'm gonna save that for now. When you're done, it will look something like this. This is one that I already did for her. So once you have a couple widgets that you're ready to get started with. So I also want to give her a calendar on her homepage because she uses her calendar app a lot. So I want her to be able to see what she has coming up. So I really like this first one because it tells her if she has any events coming up and that's gonna be really useful for her. Tap that. I'm not gonna make this a timed widget because I, I genuinely just want this to be there all the time. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna hit default widget and I'm gonna change the font, the tint color, the background color, all of that stuff. I'm gonna customize it to fit the theme that I have for her. So the photos that I picked for this first screen were sort of light, airy leaves, pastel green and stuff like that. So I'm gonna change the background color. I'm gonna make it, see the cream. I think she might like the cream. I'm gonna make the writing black and I don't want it to have a border, but I am gonna change the font. I think she'll like the New York font. All right, so now I have all of the widgets that I want her to have on her first page. Save, and I'm gonna go back to my home screen. And now I'm gonna swipe to the left so that I can see the widgets that are already here. That's a very old photo of me. And I'm gonna long press on any of these widgets and hit edit home screen. Now in the top corner here, it'll either be on your right side or your left side, just depends. There's a little plus icon, click that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and hit widget smith. And I wanna put in the two small widgets that I made as well as the medium widget. So I'm going to add widget, small, and I'm going to do it again. going to add a medium widget as well. So now that I have those on her screen, I'm going to long press on the widget and hit edit widget. Now it's gonna pull up the widgets that I have and I wanted to use number one and two. And just click. And there we go. So now I'm gonna long hold and just move the widget over to her first screen. So now that I have her first widget in there, I'm gonna go back and do the same thing for her second widget. There it is. So again, I'm gonna long press and bring it over to her home screen. I want that one in the bottom corner. I'm gonna go back and do the same thing with that medium widget. Here it is. Now I had it as medium one. And boom, there's the calendar that we created for her. Let's bring that over. back over and you're gonna have to fiddle around with it a bit until you get exactly what you're looking for. 
So I like this for now. I'm actually going to bring her bottom apps into the screen just because I don't like how they look right now. I think I want that to be empty. So don't worry about what apps you have here right now because I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom icons to actually make them fit anyway. So it's not just gonna be a bunch of random colors. So now that I've placed the widgets exactly where I want them, I'm gonna go into my shortcuts app and I'm going to hit the plus sign in the top right corner. Click add action, and then I'm gonna search open app. I'm gonna click down here, the open app action, and then I'm going to choose the app that I want to open. So my girlfriend's on TikTok all the time, so I'm going to put TikTok on her front screen. I'm gonna edit what the shortcut is called. And then I'm going to tap the icon so that I can edit it. I think that these two colors will be the ones that we end up using. Hit glyph and choose the icon that you want. There are other apps that you can use to do this so that you can actually upload images and make the icons literally whatever you want. But for simple aesthetics like this one, I just want the basic clip art. And I believe there's a sound wave icon in here. That's what I used for my TikTok app, so I'll do it for hers too. It could be a heartbeat wave, I don't know. Maybe it's not even supposed to be a sound wave. <laughs> Either way, that's what it's gonna be. Once you've created that, you're gonna hit add to home screen. Make sure, because you just changed the name, it might still say new shortcut, it might not, but if it does, change it to what you want it to say. Tick. Add it to home screen, hit done. And now you see we have a TikTok app. We're gonna move that right there. Look at that, beautiful. Now that I've done that, I've created a shortcut for TikTok. I'm actually gonna go and move her actual TikTok app into her app library. So the only reason I was keeping these apps on the home screen is so that I know what I've already changed and what I haven't changed. So that's done. And there we go. I'm going to keep her phone app, her WhatsApp app, and her messages app the way that they are because I don't want the notifications to go away. I want her to be able to see when she has messages, when she's missed phone calls, etc. When you do make a shortcut for an app, it won't show you the notifications because you're actually opening shortcuts and then opening the app. So some people find that tedious. I can honestly say that I thought that I would have an issue with it and within an hour, I didn't even notice that it was happening. Okay, hi. So after many hours of effort and dedication, I've finished her screens. I made her four screens in total. This first one is supposed to be like clean, minimalist. It's got some yoga pictures, some plants, her calendar. This is the first thing she sees when she opens her phone, as well as the apps that she uses the most. I put eight apps on this page. Color coordinated them between what was on the page already and the background on her phone. I did go and change the background on her phone. I wanted it to be a bit darker just so things would pop and I'm much happier with this one. So now for the second page, I made her a big text widget and I wrote I love you to the beach and back. It's something that we've said to each other since we started dating and I also put other quotes in there that change hourly. Just things for her to see and look at and remember that I wrote them for her. Little sun in the bottom corner, aesthetic. And then of course I have the apps over here. Snapchat, there's like no ghost icon in shortcuts so uh, Snapchat's now Tinder. And then for the third screen, I gave her this sort of, you know, sunflowery yellow. I really like this screen. I think that this one's my favorite. She has her step counter. She has some shopping that she likes to do, her Instagram and her photos. I threw in the smile. And then in the bottom left, we have the Winnie the Pooh widget, which I have changing hourly all different Winnie the Pooh pictures that I know she'll love. All within the color scheme that I wanted so that everything will always look nice. For the last page, I didn't really know what kind of aesthetic to go for and I'm still probably going to edit this page because I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with it. But this is something that I wanted to point out because I did create some extra apps with the shortcuts app. So instead of using the shortcuts app and making an icon on the homepage to open an app, I actually just made a shortcut to call me, call her sister, call her mom, and call her dad. As you can see here, it says call Adam. All she would have to do is press that, 
So easy way for her to, you know, get in contact with the people that she's calling all the time without having to fiddle around with her phone too much. She's also got YouTube in the App Store and Messenger and the Weather app. These two photos right now, they're Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato, two artists that she's in love with. Those widgets do change uh, every few hours, rotating between photos of Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, and the Kardashians, her favorite people. So for now, we've completed my girlfriend's home screen. There's lots of different things you can do. I hope that you play around with it and get the home screen of your dreams and I hope that this video was helpful for you. I have to say there have been many updates with iPhones that I haven't been happy with. This is not the case. So far I love iOS 14 and looking forward to using it. I plan on customizing my screen every month. I love these new screens. They make me feel super artsy and cute. That's all from me for now. Please like, comment, share, favorite, subscribe, and all of that jazz and I will check you later.